Uh, hey guys, this is going to be another video, and this is uh, continuing on in the same series, How Much Does God Love Jesus? And uh, I guess I haven't gotten to, um, to out external things so far. Everything that we've done has to do with man. Um, this one also has to do with man, so I guess I could do it. God's working something out in my brain. It's really funny. He's always doing this pattern thing. But um, yeah, so this one is about uh, grass. Uh, that doesn't seem like it has anything to do with man. Uh, obviously, I know, like, uh, uh, but <laughs> it actually does. So if we look at um, at what man was made from, so think about where the original or the first man came from. Um, so we know that man was taken out of the dust of the earth. That's why he says, uh, from dust you were taken and from dust you will return. Um, there's some great spiritual lessons there. Obviously, Adam, after he's kicked out of the Garden of Eden, then he has to till the ground. So he has to go back and work um, the original ground he was taken from. And us being members of the body of Christ, um, I believe we're taken out of Christ's body. So because we're taken out of Christ's body, then we go back and till, uh, till or tend or serve or however you want to look at it. We work in the ground that we were taken out of or the, uh, the person that we were taken out of, which is Christ. So that's why we serve the body. Um, we're working and we're tilling that ground, that ground of Christ's body, and then the fruit comes, uh, comes from that. So the fruit that we receive from, uh, from spiritual work, the tilling of the spiritual ground, so to speak, or the ground of Christ, that's the good soil, then that fruit goes to God. Um, so it was just really interesting. God just showed me that just now. So I thought I'd share it. That uh, It's interesting that we come from the ground and then after we're kicked out of paradise, symbolizing rest. So we have to work because we're kicked out of God's rest. We work for, um, we work for, we work by tilling the ground and the ground yields its fruit to us. Um, after we are um, become Christians, we're, we're removed from Christ's body. So whoever is, the, is part of the body of Christ, they actually come from his body. Um, just the same way um, Eve came out of Adam, um, the bride of Christ comes out of, uh, out of Jesus. So after that, then we go back like we don't have rest, like he has his rest. And now we're not in our rest yet because we haven't died. So we're working. But what ground are we working? We're working the original ground that we came from, which was Christ. Um, and just like man worked from the ground that he came out of, we work from the... Uh, from the God that we came out of, which was Jesus. This is really beautiful. Like, I didn't even realize that. I didn't intend to talk about that, but that's just a really um, beautiful thing that God just showed me. Um, anyway, uh, so back to it. So actually, that may be the end of the video. I may upload a different video. And I was debating on what to talk about, whether to talk about the covering of man or to talk about um, sex and how it symbolizes Jesus, but God gave me this. So that's going to be the end of the video, actually, like uh, pray about it, think on it and just talk to God about what it is that I just said. Like, that's a beautiful thing. Like, why do we serve the, uh, the body of Christ? It's because we came from the body of Christ and that's, uh, that's our purpose. Um, our work is for the work of service. So, yeah.